Let's take a look at how we can do some basic visual effects and color work. We're going to use a different piece of footage for this segment as the footage we've been using has already been quite heavily adjusted. To get started, we're going to click on the VFX panel up here and that's going to open up a nice big preview window for us to work with as well as our effects menu on the left hand side. You've got four options to choose from at the top. The plus symbol is where you can choose an effect to add and the settings menu is where you can control that effect. We're not going to look at graphs and routing today as these are slightly more advanced but we will look to cover them in a future video. If we start clicking through our effect options you can see there's a lot available to you here. Way too many for one video. My best piece of advice would be to set up a test project and just have a play around. Apply different effects to your footage and mess with the settings to get a feel for what they do. When experimenting, control or command plus the Z button is your friend, as it will undo your previous actions. For now, let's just go through a few different effects so you can get a feel for how they work. First, we'll click on settings, and you can see you have a color correction effect activated by default. There's a few different tabs here where you can go pretty in depth with your color work, but for now, we'll just stay in the main tab. You'll see you have three boxes at the top here, and then the left hand one you can control the lightness or darkness and also the colour of the shadows of your footage, aka the darker parts. To the far right you can do the same for your highlights, aka the brighter parts. And in the middle you can control the midtones, which is everything in between the other two. So if we wanted a horror film look we could drag our colour selector for shadows into this sort of blue green range, and then make our shadows a bit darker and a bit more ominous. If we undo and redo that a couple of times you can really see the difference that it's made. If we leave that undone we can take a look at what our sliders do here. Saturation will increase or decrease the intensity of the colours present. Gamma will brighten or darken the midtones while leaving the shadows and highlights relatively intact. Contrast controls the difference between the lighter and darker parts of your image. Brightness lightens or darkens everything including the shadows and highlights. And finally gain will lighten or darken just the whites of the image. By default, these effects will be applied to the whole clip. You can use keyframes to affect different parts of the clip though, much like we did with our audio editing. If we click this stopwatch button, that will turn keyframes on for us, and then we can control them down at the bottom here. We'll set our saturation to 100%, maximum saturation, and then we'll add a keyframe near to the start by hitting the plus symbol down the bottom, and you can see that's added a new keyframe for us. We'll move our playhead along and set our saturation to minus 100%, no color at all. Because we've changed something from the first keyframe we've made, it will automatically add a second keyframe for us, as you can see here. Now if we scrub back to the start and hit play, you can see that as the clip plays, it fades from 100% saturation to no saturation between our two keyframes. You can add as many keyframes as you'd like, so there's a lot of versatility to how you can control your effects. Next up, I want to add a blurry effect to my clip. So I'll hit the plus sign, go to the stylized tab where my blur effect is stored, and drag that down onto my clip. That will then helpfully take us straight into the settings tab. As you can see, that's pretty blurry. Again, I will click my stopwatch here to turn on keyframes, and that will set my first one on for me at the current blurriness, which is 10%. I'll drag my playhead back nearer the start and change the blurriness to 0%, which will automatically generate a keyframe for me. If we play that now, you can see our clip goes from in focus and colour to black and white and very blurry. The last thing I will do today is add a title. So, back to the effects select tab, go to text, choose title, and here we are again in our settings tab. We can do all sorts here and most of it is fairly self-explanatory. First, we'll type our title into this box. We can change our font, do bold or italics, all the usual sort of text stuff. We can also change the size and then reposition our text to where we want it. If we play this whole thing back now, you can see through some basic effects work, we've taken this clip and turned it into a form of title card. There's pretty much infinite things you can achieve by playing around with effects, so as I said near the start, I think your best bet is to set up a test project, bring in some footage, and just get stuck into playing around with them and seeing what works for you.